All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Asabi Asabase, episode five. five. Oh right. my god. This show just has no limits. It nope. will just go no crazy, chill whatsoever. crazy, and full yeah. on just manic mm-hmm. crazy. And I, I love it. I love it. I love it yeah. so much. It's kind of good, I would say, in some ways to have one of these shows that we're constantly reacting to. <laughs> That which just something that reminds us of what so, anime can be. So fun, just having mm. so much fun with itself. <laughs> yeah, and and that's that's just wonderful. That's oh wonderful. yeah, All our right. our girls are absolute mm-hmm. yeah, trashy girls. Hanako, Olivia, and and uh, and Kasumi or, or Nomura. Yep. Um, they're precious. They're wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yes, we we got reminded again regarding the, uh, the, the stuff that Gyaru... went on. Yes, uh-huh. in, in the previous right. episode yep. with, with mm-hmm. that character. Right. And yeah, we we had been told about that previously because that happened in, in another GTO. show. But that was a long time. ago. It was ago. a long time ago. So yeah. I just forgot that that was a thing. Right. So that's yeah. that. Um, I'm loving though that we're getting concurrent, uh, continuity oh. kind mm-hmm. of based side characters and lore in many ways. Mm-hmm. You know because. Yeah butler is definitely a thing is he actually a butler though he's a butler's or guy you know he's ah, a, right right it's all in the name yes definitely mm. even though this is, that's an american wordplay joke so yeah we're above the age of 12 we, oh, we, oh. we we are cultured jokes yeah. definitely yeah, i absolutely i definitely would have lost interest in that butt laser long long before honda did so Y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, and then come back here for the discussion. All right. Wow. Well, okay. I think that this episode was probably, for, for me at least, uh-huh. even more awkward than the previous one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I get that. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I like but, <laughs> yes, and 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 yet there were things that they did that I was really glad that the show did to right. sort of like add add levity into the situation. Sure, like sure. like the whole like I I love the idea that in this thing that they just happen to see right oh, or yeah. Olivia specifically yeah, happens to specifically, see specifically yeah. The boyfriend is actually okay with it. Yeah. Like, like, even though it's this, we don't know the history of their relationship or anything Nothing. like that, you know? But, you know, she says this, and he's like, you know what? That's okay. Yeah. And then, apparent, well, which could be wrong. It could have been something that, that she ended up just telling them that she said that to break up with him, you know, to throw them right. off. Sure. But... But yeah. But why not why not take our word for it for, mm-hmm. for now? But I I, yep. I, I love that mm-hmm. that whole really kind of like well, a- awkward kind of mm-hmm. instance there. It m- makes it something that where it's actually like, oh, oh, cool. We get the just the levity of hearing the voice actresses for the oh yeah, the three main girls just, <laughs> just Well and also not not sure how to handle it. It makes it a great joke on the whole idea of like the the ridiculous like things that people come up with is like a an excuse to try and break up with someone mm. because they don't actually just want to be open and honest and say sorry I want to break up. True. And then turns out this person's a great guy who's like, you know what? Even if that were true, that's okay, you know. And yeah. yet they they still want to just break up with them and all that stuff. It's like, okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. then we had cuz I like that that skit was a bit awkward at points, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think the skit that surprised me the most was actually the middle one. Yeah, I think so. That, because yeah. I <laughs> never would have expected this show to go into, like, horror stuff. Because, like, granted, there was the whole thing with, you know, Maida and the, the butt laser and the aliens and everything, right? That is an actual in-universe canon thing that happened. Right. And there was the whole thing of, and then the other one got teleported, you know? So so I love that the show is doing this, where it's like there are wacky supernatural right. elements, but we're just not going into that right now. Yeah. We're mentioning that they exist. But, you know, it's not important. Right. Um, for, for me, though, the, the reason why the second one also was kind of the one that surprised me the most mm-hmm. was that there's all this, like, huh, she's really creepy kind of stuff that comes mm-hmm. from the girls because they're the worst girls, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's the point of them being in, in the exactly. story. They provide a lot of entertainment by being mm-hmm. the worst girls. Yes. It's just that when they kind of 
kind of brought her up before this, it was in kind of comparison to uh-huh. the girl yep. that might have been a crossdresser. So it's mm-hmm. like, <laughs> yep. Okay, sure, sure, mm-hmm. okay. But then they tried to go for the wholesome angle of, no, she just needs friends because the other four have gone. They're for not here anymore. For various different reasons. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But then it's like, no, 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 she's she's also pretty into this, like very, very mm-hmm. into this. Everyone she has their thing. Well, right, but the funny thing is, is that she doesn't want to connect with other people through their thing, you know? Right. What, yeah, Which because- is typical of the, when you're trying to break into a group. Mm-hmm. You do that, but instead she had kind of like the okay. Now well, I'm the team leader. I'm the one doing this and thing here. That and also just like, is sort of like an example uh, of immaturity and being young, where you want everyone to make things easy for you, yep. rather than actually being flexible and adjusting to yep. the you know the the needs, the needs and of feelings the, the masses, and yeah. of the people around you. Exactly. Um, yeah. I thought for a second they were just going to do something where all right, this is the fourth girl that joins in. You know, and sure. Then, like but and no, okay, definitely not. Nope, nope, nope. Um, nope. Yeah, and I don't think she even did. She actually tell our main girls that nope, it was actually solved. Nope, I don't think so. Nope. So as just a thing of hey, there you go. They uh, believe at the very least that they have a connection to the occult now because they're going to be looking over their shoulders. Right. It might not be brought up in continuity much. But yeah. it's still a thing that's out there. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. another thing in the world. It's another butt laser, basically. Yep, so that's there right. You go. We also, I, yeah. I yeah. almost forgot. Yeah, we totally forgot about a skit. The, <laughs> the true beginning. first, with, the with true Maya. first skit. Well, yes, <laughs> and and Hanako. Uh huh. And I gotta say, I love that we got some some look into the with home his... life. <laughs> it was wonderful, but also. Oh, that whole oh, right. uh, situation at the, the cafe. Actually, like, also kind of cursed skit that I just completely oh, forgot about. Like that. Yeah, it was it was wonderful. It was incredible because I've. <laughs> oh man, that whole look right on the other two where they're like. So one, we're not sure how to tell her right. about this. Yep. Two. Oh, God, we have to spend the afternoon studying together. (laughs) There are people that are seeing us with her right now. Right, right. (sighs) Uh, It's it's, it's funny because because, uh, I've been in situations where I was the one that was not like dressed like that ridiculously, mind you. But I was doing something that was Mm -hmm. drawing the kind of the, uh, like... You know, why are that's, you that's here? weird. Why yeah. why why is this person being weird in the mm-hmm. in the the setting or what have you? Uh, why do we have to be associated with this person? Uh, right, right, because when I was a kid, like really, really young, so like I would say maybe even a little bit younger than 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 these kids, what I would do a lot is I would very much be like in my own world and like mm. do a little yeah. like, fantasy games and stuff. So I would take like imaginary like X wings and Tie Fighters and ah, oh, do yeah. sound effects mm-hmm. and everything. And my friends would be like, mm, yeah, okay. So then like, yeah, uh, do you want to check out my baseball cards or something? And I'd be like, Whoa, I'm doing this thing and narrating it and stuff. But it's like, it, yeah, how do you tell someone in a way mm-hmm. that's kind and, right. you know, helpful? It's tricky. It's tricky. Well, but you, this one, we, we have worse girls involved. So it's it's up to the extreme yep uh-huh. you know because yeah. because usually you want to be r- respectful but forward about right it. you know just just yeah. mentioning like you know if you're close with the person of course mm. so so maida you got to work on this buddy I'm just gonna say like the fact that in those shots it was even censoring it was like out white, what she was like wearing blurred like, like yep. lines or what have like, you <laughs> on the one hand you know it's for the gag right mm-hmm. so we can get the reveal yes. later on the other hand, it's also Maida sort of censoring out from his own vision, just like I'm not. I refuse to no. see anything mm-hmm. bad. You almost you, struck me down with your charm. Yep. <laughs> no. 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 You need to be honest with her. Yep. <sighs> but it's yeah, it's it's the equivalent of of like when you're in a situation where someone is just talking conspiracy theory nonsense oh, or something sure. like that, like... and you don't have like the the courage literally uh-huh, to like to just be like dude like that's that's 
bullshit. bullshit. Like, yeah. Like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, no, no, no. You got to be the one to stand up and say and, the truth. And I got to say, I got to say, when, you know, when Honda wanted to learn how to do the, the, the pen flip, you mm. know, the pen spin, I was like, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Awesome. Make when it is into this a pastime? You know? Yeah, exactly. That's when cool. is this going to go badly? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> I expected it to go badly, but not that. Badly. But not that badly. No. And no. I appreciate the creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, because why hold back after all? Right. Also, in a show she, like this, did she burn her costume? Uh, no, she stuffed it into her bag. Ah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But she changed though. I think she just had like an undershirt on underneath you know things like that okay. and she just yeah that, mm -hmm. that that checks out i guess yep yep yeah but, but oh um, man yeah and then we kicked things off no we ended things off if you will <laughs> with uh uh a talk about uh yep. sexual education and and, and okay and <laughs> wonderful so one of the one of the tropes in anime that like, I get why it exists, and it can be kind of funny sometimes, but also can really bother me, mm. is when it's the, oh, oh, the 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 cutesy anime girls that can't even, you know, begin to think about the notion of sex or anything like that, yeah. right? You know, and it just is an excuse to have overly dramatic blushing and things like that. Right. That can get kind of old after a it while. It can. Now, that being said, mm -hmm. I think this was an excellent way to play into and subvert that trope by making it be something where... Of course, there is the gags of, of you know, multiple characters needing to actually go through the sex talk, which is an awkward thing, right? You know, sure. like, yeah, giving the sex talk to somebody who really doesn't get it. Totally. Poor totally Kasumi. get that. <laughs> poor yeah. Kasumi. Yeah. Poor Kasumi, right? But she, then at the same time, it's something uh... where it's, there's an actual objective, <laughs> Like, you know, okay, we need to educate these girls so that they actually know what it is. Like, uh, I just wanted to hold hands with my boyfriend and walk around, you know? It's really just a jealous status thing. Uh -huh. because oh, definitely. Girl, she has no idea right. what it means to have a boyfriend or oh, anything yeah. like and that Oh, yeah, and she definitely all. doesn't want any kind of relationship. She nope. just wants to be the most boyfriendable person yep. in the world. Right, it's all popularity. Yep. Uh-huh, it is absolutely just something right. to sate her own ego and yep. vanity. Yep. And then, of course, you know, someone like uh, uh, Kasumi, mm -hmm. who uh, they have basically brought up the point in that she's not at all interested mm -hmm. in guys in general, like right. in any realistic sense at all. Only from beyond they the terrify 2D barrier. In a lot of ways. So the 2D barrier keeps her safe. Mm -hmm. And Olivia, they've even hinted at potentially at not even necessarily being into guys. She's into like, the finer things in life mm. of the more jiggling variety. <laughs> <laughs> and... and there there you have it it's and, it's a very like fun way to show them yep. exploring this whole thing but then when you bring in these other characters and this is where i think it gets kind of fun the fact that they brought the teacher in uh-huh and she's very awkward you can oh, tell yeah. that she's mm -hmm. probably still a virgin she's like definitely uh mm -hmm. still quite awkward around the whole topic she yep. knows how sex works theoretically <laughs> never experienced it herself right so she then needs to mm -hmm. draw upon actual stories yep. from her friends who are you know just cavalierly just talking oh, about yeah. their uh -huh. their experiences their escapades and, and, and she and she again shows her inexperience and immaturity oh, in the topic man. and brings it into a subject of of she can't even talk about it overtly right so she starts going into uh -huh. their exotic positions <laughs> where like i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure like i I've, i'm pretty sure in my like limited like Just, looking into what are the more like exotic positions in general some of mm -hmm. them like i was mentioning at the end of the discussion bit like you gotta be there's, careful. There's some dangers involved here, hey, especially when I mean, you're like all the way in and it's like, oh, if gravity starts to work against you, if things well, move like speaking, down that speaking far, of gravity, you know. Apparently, apparently, the, uh, this record has now been broken where there was a couple that had sex while skydiving. You know? So so there, you know, I believe it. You think it, it's probably happened. Oh yeah. So you know, really, she we're just a bunch of horny, hairless. Well, not completely hairless, uh, but but you know, she just needed sometimes to sometimes you to find crack out open you know? a copy of the Kama Sutra and just slide it over to him. 
you know? Just slide just... the Kama Sutra into their uh, DMs, I guess. I don't know. Sure. I, yeah, I, and then just, you I don't know, know where I was going with that. <laughs> let let them let them uh, read or or yeah. But see, you know, it'll be a page turner for see, them, I'm sure. This is the reason why you need to have proper sex ed in schools mm -hmm. so and that pay attention in so, school kids so that you kids uh yeah can solve this birth rate issue no this is why the sex ed takes so long is because they've mm -hmm. got to make sure that everyone's paying attention mm -hmm. you know because at some point right because you know kids never pay attention in school no. so at some point they will tune in for a little bit and then they'll actually get what's going on and then mm -hmm. hopefully you'll have them from then on out yeah yeah but uh Wow. Hmm. Poor Japan. I'm sorry you're in this situation. Caleb, you know? that's why we need to move to Japan. You know, I, I really don't see that as being enough of a reason. <laughs> we'll help. <laughs> we'll be contributing. I mean, just as I mean Jacob, if you need the help, then I mean, like, I'm here for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, but I mean, yeah, Japan... Ganbate. <laughs> so, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And you can also talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. That's right. <laughs> I wrote a sci-fi novel. Is it explicit? You can find out. The link to Amazon is in the description below. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. <laughs>